This is a, it, all of a sudden, it's turned into an 8,000 net worth lead. It seems like it's the slow bleed coming out from Secret. Frank attempts to go in again. He's throwing some sticky nade palm in. Finally gets a lasso. And he's on the high ground, so he's all by himself with the Primal Roar. Also hitting on a mid one. There's the Sprout Draken held in, but mid one's not making his way out of this. And they've also got the Fiend's Grip. This could be even more. Yap Store, is this the place? I'm magnetized on a lot of heroes with Prada trying to back off and Nisha coming in from the sidelines. Frank getting low, ends up dropping. Zai's dead. Now they'll take out Draken. Matthew's oh. next on the list. It's a buffet here for Nisha. And that's a triple kill with four heroes dead on the side of Thunder Predator. It's worth it to go to Shadow Blade after having Blink Echo, is it? Yeah, for sure. Um, it just really helps with the initiations onto both the Weaver and the AM. And these two supports on the Dire, I think they can kind of feel that, uh, you know, Puppy is going to be poor this whole game. But Lich doesn't get a GPM talent. Uh, so, you know, game's easy. Oh, no. Means he can't afford centuries. Going after the support, he'll get the kill. Frank comes over and hits mid one. Has the Midnight Pulse down. Look at this Malefice. Echo Slam comes out, but that's hyper defensive. Another G Magnetic Grip comes in. You've got the Weaver coming in from the side. The Soulbind hits onto the Enigma as well. There it is. is. Her spirit, and they'll get the kill on Matthew. They'll take out Frank. It's the Mana Boy that hits on both of them. Nisha comes in. First hit bash. Of course, why not? And the Avalanche on both of them, but it's not going to save his life. Nisha gets a double kill, and they're also looking for oh, more. Oh, this Basher. Find the Phoenix. The Stifling Dagger comes out. The Basher doing so much work for him right now. The Phantom silences up this Prada Phoenix, and now it's just a ton. It could be a full team. The BKB is going to oh, be it's again. Oh, with a bash. Come on. Dude, Dude this thing is fresh. Jesus. It is hot off the presses. This basher just can't stop. They are. Let's go again. Zai is still here though. Crimson Guard's gonna go out again. Arme just tapping away at this tower. Still has the Aegis for a little bit longer. It's gonna run out very soon, actually, about 10 seconds or 15 left. Sand Clips goes down. Now they're gonna actually banish them when they come out. They might be in trouble here. And they got the timing right. Juggernaut spins to try and get away. Will he actually make it out? Sven won't be so lucky. Arme, there it is. Aegis gets reclaimed. LGD was sweating at that because that almost backfired entirely. They might get Rubik here. They bolt. I could actually turn around the resolution. He needs to be careful. Got the stick. Play Fury still on cooldown. Needs to actually use it right now. Maybe a little bit too late. Though. They're going to move forward and look to finish this off. The Frost Shield slowing them down. They might find the SVG as well. Last coming out from Poppy, and there's the Fade Bolt through. Nice rotation coming out from the POS 5, allows Secret to take dominance of this bot lane. Yo, what? They got him here. Gaze will drag him in. He's so close, but no, the Ravage comes out. The turnaround opportunity now with the Omni Slash. Soulbind locks him in. They're going to pursue this. Resolution just burned them down with the Blade Fury. Mid one getting pretty low, but he's looking to move away and use the Shrine. And there's the Stolen Ravage. is going to come out. Does stun him up. Juggernaut turned around on the Shrine. Is keeping him alive, but they get rid of the healing ward straight away. Zai with the quick reactions. Ensures the kill. DP in. Centaur trying to get involved. Avalanche on the mid one. He's just trying to stay far enough away. He's going to get close in the end, and he will go down. Double kill in the meantime for Zai as he finds SVG on the back foot. Two for free trade. And in favor of Secret there, as the Ravage and Omni Slash were used in that engagement. They're going to finish the roast right now. Bird's coming in from mid one. He can slow us down. Avalanche by enough time from MSS. There's a stampede. Jumps in, stomp. Nice lift. Stops him from finish off Puppy, but he still goes down to the stroke of fate. They picked up the eggs. No, no. The egg is going to die. Mid one. He made sure they didn't get a primal roar. The turnaround. Juggernaut getting pretty low on HP. He can't stay alive. The Crimson Guard can't keep him up. And now Nisha, he's pursuing for more. You are going to try and slow things down with the anchor smash. They're going to move in, though. Nisha stunned up by the Avalanche in the meantime. Yours coming out to Tiny. They need to move in. Soulbind's going to be there. Try and turn around the Mana Void. Not being used just yet. The Stomp is there. Centaur, he's going to fall. They're just mincing through Ford Gaming. The last to go will be Tiny. But it's going to be a team wipe. And all they gave over was a kill under the Lich right at the beginning of the fight. There's a thousand gold behind Slada right now. Oh, moving forward. Looking on the Yoar. Ice Shards block out his escape. He's trying to get through the Finn Gap. But it's a little bit too late. He will be ran down. Nice kill coming in. Now the roll. They're trying to turn around. Oh, the dodge! 
Beautifully done by mid one. No slivery and crush for universe. Mid one, the one that's going in. Doesn't care. He bought back. He wants that rush. Thing. There's stone gates now on Lisa, I guess. Yeah, but the tombstone's already been dropped. They need to get rid of it right now. Cool's gonna come out. Drags in the juggernaut. Hex not the stone gates as well. Shackles him on the spot, staring straight into the Voodoo's eyes. That should be enough to bring him down, but the spin comes out just in time to heal him all down. SVG still standing. X will draw him back. Well, Wukong says, yeah, you are. Looking to actually zone him out. MSS, the avalanche comes off cooldown a little bit too late to hold him in. Now Nisha, out of mana, needs to actually move away. So wants to go down. Shackle holds Monkey King into the mess. Resolution just trying to chase through. Omni Slash, now cooldown. He can look to re-engage. Is against it. Nisha, holding his ground right here, doing a lot of damage. They need to actually get rid of this dude, but they can't quick enough. You are going to move across right now. But he's going to wand up, look to move away from this. This arm's going to come out. Monkey King stunned up on the spot and drag back. Buyback is there from the Juggernaut, but he can't do anything just yet. And MSS will go down. So will the Monkey King. Buyback's going to come out. Everyone wants this Roche. I mean, eventually, Yupsor gets the pressure. Nisha? Oh. Gay's going to be there with the DD. MSS taking a lot of damage. X is going to draw him back into a boat in the face. And she'll be able to wipe this one out. Wukong's gonna go down, and MSS looks like the Omni Slash is gonna go across on the Puppy though. He's tanking the whole damn thing up alone. Like that comes out, Tiny trying to get involved with the BKB running Yawa, but he doesn't want to leave his Wukong's area. Nisha just about to run out of mana, he might be in a little bit of trouble. He's trying to run on resolution. He's spinning trying to run away, but Puppy stands his ground. He tanked everything. And Ford Gaming, they get nothing for their troubles. The buyback on MSS might turn into a dieback here. He can't move away quick enough. Nisha just overwhelms him. A triple kill for the Medusa. And the hunt for more. Resolution will run for the high heels though. The problem is. One buyback. Yeah, they know this as well. They've seen the buybacks coming out. They know how stressed Ford Gaming are. They're going to go straight for the base. 